looking at this series, at losing Giannis and losing Trey Young, you know, you, you think it almost evens things out. I wouldn't necessarily say that's true, but, you know, to, to the average fan, it might look like that. I think what we're really going to learn here is the, the thing about basketball, at least at this point in, in, in the NBA, the NBA is the sport where you can get the farthest with really only having a star and then not too much depth around you. I don't, like, I would say it's the sport where you can get the farthest doing that. Can't, I don't think you can win a championship like that, not at least at the moment, but it's the, it's the sport where you can get the farthest there. Now, to that point, I think, obviously, we're going to learn over the next couple of games, no matter whether Trey Young comes back or, or, or Giannis or, or, or anything of that sort, uh, just which of these teams has the better amount of depth. And I think at this point, that's going to win a, a team a championship here. You know, you look at the last 10 years of the NBA has been very super team heavy, obviously. The super team in question this year is no longer around. Meaning, I think the team with the, be- with the best all-around squad, no matter who is on that squad, whether it be one, two, or three good players, it is going to end up being the champion here. Gigi, I'll ask you first, given who, who you think is going to go to the NBA Finals, from there, this is thinking ahead a little bit, but we have the time. Who would you take in that hypothetical uh, NBA Finals based on what you've seen in these conference finals? Okay, I love this, Dylan. I like looking ahead. And, okay, I'm going with Suns, obviously, from the West. Mm-hmm. And then I think from the East, who did I say? I think I said, yeah, all right, Hawks versus Suns mm-hmm. is what the finals is looking like. Um, and I think that what we're going to see is Trey Young – battling against Devin Booker and it's going to be great but I do think that the Suns would then edge them out and like now I keep saying this but like I really can't believe the Suns are gonna win the finals like if that's what my pick is gonna be I actually am so shocked but I do think it's time and it's not like this is that new to them like they do have history of making it to the finals and everybody on this team does have or not everybody, but a good amount of people on this team have strong experience in playoffs and they know how to win too. And obviously the Hawks have shown us just tenacity and to have Trey Young to be the figurehead of this team and to have as much swag and as much confidence as he does, I think really could trickle down to the rest of the team in a great way. But I do think it's probably going to be a five-game series between them. I think the Suns are going to take it. I don't think it would go that long if it's Suns-Hawks. I would agree with that it's going to be Suns-Hawks. I think the Suns will find a way in Game 7 against the Clippers. However, I'm going to have to disagree in terms of the finals pick. I would actually have the Hawks winning in six. I just think they have so many weapons from three-point range that they're going to be able to outclass the Suns. I know how good Devin Booker is, obviously. He is going to be so great for many, many years to come. Same thing with Chris Paul. He is a different level talent. But I just I have this feeling about the Hawks where you have Clint Capella inside who can take DeAndre Ayton in a one-on-one situation, I would venture to say. And on top of that, you just have a great coach on the Hawks side as well. So I got to say Hawks and six. Oh, wow. We're even getting game predictions. That's, that, that's looking real ahead, but I, okay. So to wrap things up here, agree. Uh, it's going to be Hawks Suns. And to be honest with you, who, who would win that series? I think actually depends on whether or not Trey Young comes back in this conference final series. I think, you know, if, if they're able to win, if they're able to win uh, the East without him, and then he comes back for the finals, that might be a difficult piece to put back in after a team has already had to, in kind of an emergency mode, try and piece themselves together to remain a contending team. But so, rest, like you said before, rest is rest, so important. Rest is, is so key. So, and neither neither of these teams, neither, 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 who cares? Neither, neither. Not, neither Tom is going to get that much rest considering both of these series are going to go pretty deep. So we're going to see how that affects either of these squads. 